Good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, I have a very interesting article again by uh, Father Ron Earl Hessler. Rich kids without money or understanding. Gloria Steinin once uh, confessed that while never having been uh, overweight, she was always being concerned about her weight because that genes inherited from her parents and predisposed her in that direction. So she says, I think of myself as a fat woman who is slim at the moment. Her commitment helped me to understand something I misunderstood years before in classroom. Uh, early in my seminary studies, uh, taking a course on sociology and poverty, I was struggling to accept our professor's explanation as to why power poverty is, the, is not always the consequence of personal failure, but is often product of unchosen circumstances, accident of misfortune. Many in class weren't buying it, and this was our logic. Most of us had some uh, from humble economic backgrounds and believed was we were pulled ourselves up by our own uh, bootstraps. Uh, why couldn't everyone else do the same? So we protested. We grew up poor. We did not have any money. We did not get free schools or lunches. We had to work to pay our clothes and books. Our parents never took any handouts. Nobody helped them. They took care of themselves. Uh, so, we, uh, so have we recent those who are getting the things for nothing. Nothing came to us free. We earned what we have. Our professor answered by telling us that this is precisely why we need a course on sociology and poverty. He wasn't buying uh, the notion that we had grown up poor and had earned the things by our own hard work. Then this uh, surprising uh, phrase, none of you were poor as a kids. Uh, you are rich kids who grew up without money. And where you, uh, are, where you are today, isn't just the result of your own hard work, it is also the result of lots of good fortune. It took me years, and uh, Gloria Stamen's comments, to understand uh, she was right. I was a rich kid who grew up in a family without money. Moreover, much of that, I naively believed it, that I earned my own hard work was not in effect very much the product of the good fortune. I doubt our society understands that. A number of popular uh, cliches have, uh, uh, have to believe that our own background could never be excused for not buying the success. That success is open equally to everyone. We were inhalated and the cliches. Any poor kid can grow up to be a president. Anybody, uh, instructor, can make a success of his own or her life. There is no excuse for any healthy person not having a job. It is true. Uh, partially, yes, kids from the poor economic backgrounds have become presidents. Thousands of poor kids had found entrance into the best university, countless kids who grow up poor, have been highly successful in life, and people who are motivated and not lazy generally do make success of their lives. However, that's far from the whole story. Uh, what reality makes for separation of rich and poor in our world? Uh, 
uh, if everyone uh, really on is in equal footing it is really virtue that makes for success and lack of uh, it makes it for failure in her best-selling book at Louis Louis Arson makes her comment about uh, her mother Queen Elizabeth who uh, aged wonderfully uh, and gracefully they both were born into the privilege white citizens of developed countries wealthy and educated both were gifted uh, great uh, genetic DNA and both had good fortune of not ever having been assaulted abused failed by cancer or developing car accident these advantages are not matter of character indeed willpower and uh, capacity for uh, wise decisions are often by products of fortune lives emphasis nine success is not uh, predicated only on personal character hard work and dedication neither is the failure necess necessity as a result of weakness laziness and lack effort we aren't born equal set equally into same starting blocks have equally gifted or abusive childhoods and we are allotted equally the same opportunities for education and growth and uh, then uh, uh, parceled out equally the same measured of accidents illnesses and tragedy in life however it's because we naively believe that fortune is allotted equally to all that gillibly and cruelly divide people into winners and losers judge harshly those who deem losers blame them for their misfortunes and cong congratulate ourselves out of achieved as all in credit our success attributes in our own virtue sincerely uh, we see those who are poor having only themselves to blame why can uh, they pulled themselves up to their bootstraps we did by saying of us uh, have genes and predispose uh, used to become fat as of rich kids who grow up without money in wall power capacity uh, for wise decisions are often products of fortune life rather than matter of character recognizing uh, that can make less cruel in our judgments and far less uh, smug in our own success a beautiful article really tells us about uh, how how could we not judge not be uh, prejudging someone who is poor to say he's lazy lazy or he is he just is a loser so word is not word of winners and losers uh, we love god we thank god and we do not judge anyone that's our message and that's our orthodox outlook of this article may god bless you amen